Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. Hey everyone, Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome to the Final Cut. And we do have games for you today. A game in particular called Jumanji. And we're talking about the sequel to the original Jumanji film starring Robin Williams. This time around we have Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Kevin Hart, Jack Black, and Karen uh, Gillen in... Welcome to the jungle. Jumanji, welcome to the jungle. And here we get the story of Spencer Fridge, Bethany, and Martha, who are four kids put in detention in the basement of the school to help clean out a room for a computer lab. But they run across an old video game console with the game Jumanji stuck in it. And they fire it up, and soon they find themselves sucked into the game, playing as their avatars that they chose, and having to play through the game to release the curse and beat the game uh, so that they can return home. And we see how that all plays out and the evil Van Pelt who's trying to stop them in this fun, interesting, action-packed comedy. Ah, uh, welcome to the jungle. Jumanji, welcome to the jungle. When I first saw the poster, I was like, oh, okay, here we go. And I saw Dwayne The Rock Johnson was involved in it, and I liked Dwayne Johnson as an actor. I think, given the right role, he has a lot of fun, and in this one, he's having a total fun in this. But everybody is. Kevin Hart, he and Dwayne Johnson really have some great comedic chemistry together, and it shows here in this film. But they also get uh, some great chemistry between them and Jack Black and Karen Gillan, who is in here. And I loved how these four played off each other. But what was even more impressive with their performances is that they really did well in capturing the nuances and the personalities of the young kids who were introduced in the beginning, they you forget that this is The Rock. You forget that this is Karen or Jack Bite. You actually see the characters that were introduced in the beginning, the kids, through these adult avatars. And I loved that. I thought the performances were spot on. And you could tell the adult actors were having fun acting like teenagers with their personalities. Uh, they, they were. They were having a lot of fun in this film. Uh, I really thought that... I, the environment that they built with Jumanji was uh, really great. Some of the location shots they had and the cinematography, but even more important, it felt like a fun video game film. Now it's based on a fictional video game, of course, but still, this I thought was one of the better video game films out there. Now, Van Pelt, played by uh, uh, Bobby uh, Cannavale, uh, he's a villain that kind of gets the Marvel treatment of sorts. He's not that well developed, though. He looks pretty badass, uh, but he's just, you know, he's more of kind of the side. He, he, you do have that kind of tension of him continually pursuing them, but at the same time, you feel that the game environment is more dangerous to this group until the final act than it is, uh, than Van Pelt is. So uh, Nick Jonas shows up, who and I enjoyed his character as well, and yeah, it is fun. Now, there is some humor in here that some parents with very young ones um, are going to probably have to explain some things. So it definitely is more for the teenagers on Up Crowd, I will say, because there's at least two scenes in here where uh, we were sitting in the audience and I heard the little girls who a mom brought with to the show, uh, they started asking questions of why was this particular line funny? And I'm like, oh, wow, that's going to be an awkward ride on the way home. So as much fun as this film is, I would say it is for a little bit older kids, uh, you know, the 12 or 13 year olds on up. The younger crowd will get some of the jokes and enjoy seeing some of the animals in here, which I liked some of the CGI in here. I thought it was really good. Some of it a little spotty, but better than a lot of other CGI we've seen in bigger films. So overall, Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, I found a lot of fun here. A lot of heart, a lot of great performances. I love Jack Black in it, which normally doesn't happen. And Karen Gillan really gets to kick ass as uh, uh, Ruby Roundhouse. Uh, uh, and yeah, there's a lot of great things in here. Now, if you're going in here and you really love the original, you may be a bit disappointed. But for me, I found it to be worth the price of admission. And that'll about do it for us here on The Final Cut. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate your support. And as always, remember, keep that ticket stub.